بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدي بني آدم أجمعين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Welcome back to the 23rd chapter Surah Al-Mu'minun which has 118 verses and the name Al-Mu'minun is the plural of Mu'min and we're told huwa man ittusifa bil iman this is the person that has been characterized has been described to have iman to have faith well what is iman we're told that it is qawlun bil lisan wa i'tiqadun bil jinan al qalb wa amalun bil arkan aw al jawarih so for iman to be complete for it to be legit it needs to be a belief that we hold in our hearts, that we profess with our mouths, and that our good deeds, our good deeds are there to also um, show it and back it up. Sababu tasmiyatiha, sifatul mu'minina hi al mawdu'u al barizu fi sura. Lida biha ftutihat wa biha summiyat. That Allahu Rabbul Alameen focuses on the traits of the believers in this chapter and it's very very apparent and it's for this reason that Allah Rabbul Alameen begins this chapter um, with the traits and that the chapter takes on that name. So this chapter is known by other names besides Al-Mu'minun it is also known Surah Qad Aflaha as well as Surah Al-Fallah, Surah Al-Fallah, the, the chapter of success, Qad Aflaha meaning they have succeeded, they are successful. What is its general theme? At-tarkizu ala masa'ili al-iman. So the first thing is to understand what are the factors for faith? What are the attributes of faith? Wa bayanu sifati ahli al-iman. As well as then giving us the traits for the believers, for the people who possess faith, those who are genuine in their faith. Wa dhikru man khalafahum wa bayanu masirihim. And then Allah Ta'ala also talks about the opposite, those who do not have faith, those who are in opposition to the people of faith and their outcomes, their outcomes. Sababu Nuzuliha, the reason for this chapter, it is a Meccan chapter and with regards to the reason why the whole chapter was revealed, we don't have anything on it, but there is that which is true for some of its verses. Fadluha. Pardon me, my nose is itching. Fadluha, its merits. We're told, Khassa al-Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Khassaha al-Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fi salawat. Faqad thabata annahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qara'aha fi salati subh, akhrajahu Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as Imam Muslim collects in his sunnah, in his sahih, he tells us that Allah's Messenger alayhi salatu wa sallam, led salat al-fajr, praying, reading this chapter. So we find that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam utilized Salat al-Fajr reading this chapter in it and therefore there's a bit of a, a unique this in that he read Surah Al-Mu'minuna specifically in Fajr. What about the relationship of the beginning of the chapter to the end? We're told Al-Hadith an Falah al-Mu'minina an Falah al-Mu'minina wa khasaratil al-Kafirin that the chapter in the way that it begins and it ends is that Allah Azza talks about the success of the believers and that he concludes with the failure of the disbelievers. فَقَالَ فِي فَاتِحَتِهَا He begins the chapter by saying قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Certainly the believers are successful and he concludes it saying إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الْكَافِرُونَ Certainly, the disbelievers will not be successful. SubhanAllah. The believers will be successful, the disbelievers will not be successful. And it's important to understand that success here is what Allah Ta'ala declares success. Not what there may be of material things or, or transitory things of this life. It's what Allah Ta'ala considers to be true success. And that is a really meaningful life here. Not what, what the people see, but what's truly within the person's heart and soul, how they're living, and then especially what there is of eternity, whether they're going to be forever in paradise, or Allah forbid that they'll be suffering in the other place. 
What is the relationship between this chapter and Al Hajj which preceded it? We're told Lama Lama Khtuti Matil Hajju bi Irshadi al Mu'minina ala A'mali al Falahi that Allah Rabbul Alameen when he concluded Al Hajj guiding the believers to focus on what those righteous deeds are that will better help them to be successful, saying, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu arka'u wasjudu wa'budu rabbakum wa'f'alu al-khayra la'allakum tuflihoon. He says, O you who believe, bow and prostrate and worship your master and do good deeds so that you will hopefully be successful. He concludes the ayah with tuflihoon so that you will hopefully be successful. And he begins the chapter with the same verb saying, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Indeed, the believers are successful. So you see, subhanAllah, a beautiful sense of congruency in the way that the chapter ends with focusing the same root Arabic word of falah there in the end of al-mu'minun, and it begins with that in the beginning of Pardon me, at the end of Hajj and at the beginning of Al Mu'minun. Subhanallah, matching at the Tabuk, so so amazing, Subhanallah. And we ask Allah Rabbul Alameen that He truly bless us to be from the Mu'minun, to be from those believers who truly have sincere, genuine faith in their hearts that we proudly manifest with our mouths and with our righteous good deeds for Allah Rabbul Alameen in the emulation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and everything of what he himself believed, how he worshipped, and the beauty of his character and manners. Allahumma Rabbana Ameen. Wa sallillahumma wa sallam wa baraka ala Muhammad.